I'm Amanda Smith here for uscfootball.com here with Dan Weber as we bring you your instant analysis. The Trojans are back from their bye week. They're here on Dado Field. Dan, can you tell us what you saw from them today? Well, I think they were, they're trying to change it up a little bit. I think in, in recognition of the heat, you know, uh, you looked at them early and you thought, okay, I guess they're going to go through the whole pre-practice without their helmets. Then you realize they don't have any helmets. So uh, they basically kind of let them uh, have a little bit of a, a helmetless Tuesday here and uh, uh, in shorts and, and, and jerseys. And I think it picked them up a little bit. I think they, uh, you know, they looked a little peppy, a little bounce in their step. Uh, they'd actually gotten an extra... Uh, weekend practice in pads, so uh, it just seems that you know the timing is is different. But I think they uh, kind of approach, and I'll tell you what, it's just a little after 10 o'clock now, and it's hot in the sun, and they're out there all you know the whole time. I mean, maybe they needed to pass out uh, sunscreen uh, without the helmets because they're not wearing baseball caps either. But uh, the players seem to enjoy it without the helmets today. Well, when Kiffin talked about the offense today, he mentioned call at homes. So what did you hear from him about that? Well, he had a good way of saying that. First of all, you know, any update on Kyle at homes? He said, well, we hope he plays. You know, we really do because it's, it's real obvious. Uh, he's, the last two games he's played in each of those games, we've rushed for more than 250 yards. So that makes it very simple. Uh, if he plays, uh, they'll run the ball better. I don't think there's any question about that. There's just a way that he organizes and uh, you know, the offensive line. And there's just a way, it's kind of an upbeat, kind of a fifth-year senior leader, smart, that uh, they, there's just a confidence level that, that's up. I think in, in Coach Kiffin as well. So, uh, yeah, he's hopeful that uh, Khaled plays, and I'm sure everybody else is, and I'm sure Khaled is. Another hot topic was the quarterback situation. What have we heard about Kevin Seymour? Well, uh, I, you know, uh, Lane was asked who on the entire, you know, roster is taking advantage of the bye week and maybe, you know, kind of really stepped up or said, hey, look, you know, I'm ready to play. He said that guy was uh, freshman cornerback Kevin Kevon. I'm sorry, Kevon, as he said. Uh, uh, Seymour, he said uh, he definitely uh, is going to have an expanded role. When that's going to happen, you know, Lane wouldn't say when the expanded role is going to start, but it's he's having an expanded role. He's made them, uh, you know, really take a serious look at him and his ability. And uh, uh, he said it's really good to have a good freshman cornerback who you can start looking at to, to really get some playing time. So keep your eye on uh, number 23, Kevon Seymour, very confident kid, you know, six feet tall, which is good, good size for a cornerback. He can run and jump. Uh, and, and I think the confidence level is really important for a freshman. All right. Well, you heard it here first at uscfootball.com. Be sure to check out the website for more information.